hello friends today in this video we are going to discuss about the three kingdom classification system okay so before starting about before discussing about the three kingdom classification system at first we have to know the history of classification what are the previous classification system are present which are which were present previously before the three kingdom classification was published so what are the first classification system so let's discuss about the previous history of classification system by which the all the living organisms are classified into different classes okay so first classification system was the two kingdom classification system that was the simplest form of classification system where only two kingdoms are present so this type of classification system was introduced by Carolus Linnaeus in 1758 where all the living organisms are classified into two groups or two kingdoms that are the planty and animalia so Carolus Linnaeus divided all the all the living organisms into two classes or two kingdoms okay so that uh, and he uh, and depending on the depending on their characteristics they classified those organisms into plant and animal so what are those characteristics or what are those criteria so that criteria are locomotion response to external stimuli mode of nutrition conductile and contractile system cell wall so these are all the these are all the characteristics by which carolus linnaeus divided all the living organisms into two kingdoms that are the planty and animalia okay so this is the first simple form of classification system of living world okay so why we need three kingdom classification system why the two kingdom classification system is rejected in the letter letter it is why it is rejected so because the two kingdom system failed to satisfy biologist at the level of microbial form of life because in the two kingdom classification system all the microbial organisms are also placed in the planty group so as because the microbial organisms are not uh, same or do not uh, do, didn't match their characteristics with the planty group so it is uh, not suitable to place them in the uh, plant planty kingdom the microbial uh, microbial organisms are not suitable to placed in the planty kingdom so it is a mistake or it is a disadvantage of two kingdom classification system so that's why and also many of the microbes possesses both plant like and animal like characteristics simultaneously and many other enjoyed such, such characteristics which were unique to them unique to plants and animals so and not found in either plants and animals so that type of organisms are also be placed also be uh, present in the classification system in different kingdom so that that is the requirement to add a, add another kingdom another new kingdom to this classification system and that's why the three kingdom classification system is arrived so in view of this a solution was made in 1868 by Heckel he introduced protista as a new kingdom to accommodate organisms exhibiting characters either common to both plant and animals or unique to their own okay so that's why the three kingdom classification system is arrived so what are the three kingdom classification system so three kingdom classification system here the protista is the new kingdom and the previously added is a planty and animalia so all the organisms lacking tissue system and morphological com complexities and division of liver that means the organelles if the organism don't have tissue system morphological complexities and organelles if they don't have that type of criteria then they are present into this protista group okay protista kingdom and and the uh, organisms having diverse diverse uh, tissue system with well known division of liver that means uh, they have uh, well uh, well being uh, organelles and maximum morphological complexity is present then they are present they are divided into planty and kingdom sorry planty and animalia kingdom okay so depending on these different criteria the protist in the protista group in the protista kingdom the algae fungi and 
protozoa bacteria they are present in this they are uh, put it into this protista kingdom and bryophyta pteridophyta zymnosperm angiosperm they are uh, placed into this planty group and in animalia the invertebrates and vertebrates are classified or placed okay so in this way all the living organisms or all the living things are divided into three kingdoms okay that are the protista planty and animalia so this is the all thing about the three kingdom classification system and also this three kingdom classification system has some disadvantage because the microbes that are the bacteria bacteria are uh, bacteria <coughs> bacteria or prokaryotic organisms are different from this algae and fungi but they are all present in the same group that is the protista so it should be uh, different it should be differentiated or classified differently the micro bacteria or pro prokaryotic organisms must be uh, placed in another kingdom so for that reason in next the five kingdom classification system is arrived okay so these are the advantage of this three kingdoms classification system okay thank you for watching this video